This is a mock-up of our roof structure on this house. One of the aspects of a passive house is to have a very well insulated envelope. And beyond the Duracell blocks that are in the exterior walls, we then want a roof structure that's going to hold that energy in as well. What we have here is what we would call a hot roof with a cold roof on top of it. So we call it a hot roof because the insulation is blown to the underside of this roof deck. We complement that with a couple sheets of polystyrene on the outside, which act as a thermal break to keep that wood from transferring energy. And then on top of that, we put sleepers onto the roof that go directly down into the rafters and hold these on tight. We can then sheathe this roof again, and our shingles will then have a venting space underneath them in order that we can have what we'd call a cold roof or a vented roof assembly directly above a hot roof. This is a very energy efficient way to assemble a roof and provides us with an excellent thermal break as well as a high R value on that roof structure itself and still allows us to vent our shingles so that we can get long life out of those. One of the benefits of constructing a roof assembly with a hot roof is the fact that you can then not only end up with a more efficient shell, but you also get a third floor that can be usable space. We frequently build these in with either attic storage space or even as a third story suite can be complete with a bathroom or any manner of things. But what this essentially does is takes the footprint of the house and adds about another two thirds to whatever the size of that footprint is. So we're making our house more energy efficient and adding a lot of living space in there. And it's one of the ways you can take a smaller house and make it bigger and more livable.